Hey everyone! This week in news, Michael Sun wrote about the renovations happening in the library, which will be going on until June. And Olivia Georges wrote about a petition by Sam H. to have the federal government increase funding for mental health. All that and more, this week in news. Hey everyone! This week in National, Amadeo de Preto wrote about the responses that Canadian universities have been issuing in response to the recently overturned American travel ban, and Bailey Morton wrote a national feature about the impact that virtual reality is having on Canadian campuses. All that and more, this week in National. Hey Ravens! This week in sports, Ryan Curley reported on the 14 Ravens football players who will be heading to various CFL combines, while Nate Bahar said that he expects to be the first receiver off the board at the draft. And Michael Sun reported on the men's basketball games. They're two games away from an undefeated season. All that and more this week in sports. This week in arts, Riley White covered the Arc Hales performance at Carleton University, and Jackie Bessionon covered the Arc House Cafe opening. All that and more this week in arts. This week in features, Olivia Georges looks into how tattoos are a form of self-expression and how they are treated in the workplace. And Cameron Jett spoke to students about the meaning behind their tattoos. All that and more this week in features. This week in op-ed, Manahil Bandakwala talks about how Carlton's printing services need improvements. And on our sex blog, for those of you who had a lonely Valentine's Day, check out some self-love tips from Literary Dream Girl. All that and more this week in op-ed. This week in multimedia, we've got an infographic and news outlining the CUSA presidents from 2012 to today, and we've got Carlton students telling their tattoo stories. All that and more this week in The Charlatan.